Hey man, say man, it's Armand Turo in the cut on the mic and today we're gonna be doing a vlog with day in the life of a sneaker reseller slash sneakerhead. So yes sir, hey, I just sold this denim tears hoodie. It's currently about nine in the morning, I just woke up. So yeah, just sold this uh, denim tears hoodie though last night. So uh, ignore the mess in the background. I'm currently at a temporary location. But anyways, yeah, just sold this royal blue uh, denim tears hoodie. So yeah, pretty nice. And then underneath it I actually have my uh, personal Supreme hoodie, which I actually like a lot. I was gonna resell that because that hoodie is actually going for like $300 now and I got it for retail but like i don't know i like the blue on that too much but yeah anyway that's off topic i sold that down to your toady for a decent little price on alias so i'm gonna ship that out today probably and then i have to I have to get a tape roller though because i have some a little bit of a some, like lint on it that i want to get off before i ship it out so yeah uh, stay tuned for today and then i also bought my first storage unit for my sneakers because right now uh, you know I, I need a place to store my sneakers so yeah i'm gonna be showing you all that and all that good stuff and what i'm doing today so yeah stay tuned drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell peace all right so i'm about to load up all these shoes and put bring them to the storage so yeah stay tuned all right i'm tuning back into this uh day in life of a sneakerhead slash sneaker reseller and i just sold this spider hoodie in the back it's actually really clean it's like neon green and that like slate gray which is really clean so yeah it's a really nice hoodie actually and i just sold it for a decent little price so i'm about to ship it off so yeah but i'm about to, that's really what i'm up to right now so drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell down below if you made this far in this video and let's go we're gonna head off in the whip and let's go peace All right, I'm about, I just sold these Oregon Duck What the like the What the Duck aways. I'm about to drop a video actually unboxing those, so go check out the unboxing. It should be out when this video is out. But yeah, I just got a box, and I'm about to head to storage right now and go pick up the pair of shoes, and then go ship them out. So yeah, I'm gonna take out with me. Peace. All right, y'all, just picked up the What the Ducks. I already did the unboxing video on these, but yeah, check them out. Really dope. About to go get my car wash though to, before I uh, ship these out. But yeah, a little sneak peek of these shoes. Super clean. Let's go check out my video I made on these if you wanna see a up close look. But yeah. About to go get a car wash. Peace. A little warning for y'all. Just like if you ever sell shoes, if you, you know, as y'all seen the, um, in the beginning of this video, I shipped out a Denim Tears blue hoodie and the Supreme handbag, which is like, it's really annoying because I just, I sold them to Alias and Alias is always really picky. Even though I've never had a problem with Alias, I've sold multiple spider hoodies to Alias, but those spider hoodies did come directly from Spider's website. And that Denim Tears uh, hoodie actually did come straight from Denim Tears website. So this is really weird. I think Denim Tears is just like really easily fake nowadays. So yeah, it's really tough selling clothes on apps nowadays it's really just better just to sell it to someone that's interested locally or something and then show them the receipt just the, like the show proof that's real because these apps obviously cannot tell real from fake for real from fake because they pass fake sometimes and then they pass real ones and right now they just don't pass nothing so which is insane so yeah be careful uh, selling clothes to apps like StockX, alias uh aka goat alias is pretty much a uh, goat selling platform so yeah so just be a little bit wary for that because that's really annoying because i had really good sales on both that denim tears hoodie and the supreme handbag made a quick you know buck on both of them and it just kind of sucky because now it says uh authentication fail not authentication it didn't say nothing about it they, they didn't give the reason yet they just said that something went wrong in the review so i think what happened was honestly the dem tears hoodie i had a uh, i've washed the box these up so i'm just literally gonna set, ship them off in the same box sorry if the air conditioner is loud that i got these in so yeah uh oregon duck sold uh the away colorway so yeah um, I'll give it y'all whenever I'm at the post office, which I might record that or, or might not. So yeah, stay tuned. Tune back in the video. Uh, don't mind the background right now. My, this is like my house right now, you know, hurricane hit. So, you know what I'm saying? So had to knock out the walls. Anyways, the, the, back in this day in life video, I got a new GoPro because my last one got flooded in a hurricane. As you can see, my crib was kind of, you know, all the, this didn't like, this wasn't damaged from the hurricane. Then it didn't knock out the walls. It just, you know, the, how to take out the mold and stuff, but Anyway, it's got a GoPro here at 13, so I'm about to unbox it. So I might show y'all it, but yeah, I just want to do this little, just show y'all that because I think it's pretty cool. Got the newest GoPro, so yes, sir. Let's get into it. Well, I'm gonna unbox it. And I'll probably catch y'all whenever I catch y'all. <laughs> clip i might throw this in this day in life of a sneakerhead video or sneaker reseller i just sold these size 12 dark onyx slides so we got the left pair right pair i had two pairs of these so i had to make sure you know well it doesn't really matter which right pair goes with which pair but anyways yeah about to ship these out so yeah uh, i don't have any packing paper or i mean uh it's any whatever it's called tape or i don't have a printer right now so yeah i have to go see if i can get like this ups to print for free hopefully so yeah let's see and yeah i got this one wrapped up on ice so yeah i just want to you know do this little clipping so these size 12 dark onyx slides sold yep 
Hey man, same man, it's from on Real in the cut on the mic, and I'm tuning back into this day in life of a sneakerhead slash sneaker reseller video. So actually, I have some couple no box fire shoes I'm about to list up on eBay. So I'm about to do that. These are some uh, shoes I brought to events. Go check out my other events, some recent events. I just went to <sighs> go check out those videos. I had these on the table. April's brand new size nine and a half. Well, they're actually VNDS because you know they're they're technically like worn, but if you look at them, like they literally look brand new. But yeah literally fall, like flawless literally vnds but hey, i'm about to list these up these aprils and i have some white thunder size 12 i need to list up then i have these bike airs that are super fire that i'm about to list up size 10 the only thing about about these is they have one little flaw they have like a little thing like a little watermark on the toe box which is annoying i don't know what it's from but yeah clean pair literally all stars literally vnds brand new pretty much just yeah extra laces too i'm pretty sure i gotta find the other pair of extra laces i know they have one of them but yeah i'm not gonna yap too long um and yeah i'll catch you on the next clip peace all right y'all i'm gonna go check out this shoe store that I just came across but yeah peep the fill of the day got the ice cream sweatpants finally getting cold out here in florida so yeah a little hoodie nothing too crazy actually it's like a phase tico hoodie if you know you know the easy slides on but yeah i'm gonna go check out this store it's called full court st pete so hey let's go check it out real quick and yeah Do y'all buy clothes and uh, sneakers? Uh, shoes, they gotta be brand new with the okay. box. Okay. Um, and then it just depends on what it is. Clothes, we're pretty open to what we buy. Okay. Uh, we just don't do a lot of like, we don't do like essentials, off-white, like that type of okay. streetwear stuff. We yeah, yeah. do like Supreme, Stussy, mm. that type yeah. of stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah. This has to be brand new? No, clothes can oh. be worn. Okay, yeah. cool, all right, yeah. Y'all just open up? No, we've been here three years now. Okay, dang, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm new there. All right, y'all, hopefully, um, I just sold this to StockX, so, hey, we about to drop it off. Hopefully, it passes. It's a real Supreme bag. I bought it from a trusted person, but it didn't pass on Alias for whatever reason. People tell me that Alias is hit or miss with type, this type of stuff because it's hard for them to tell what's real and fake, apparently. But it just depends, honestly. We're just going to see. Hopefully, apparently, StockX 100% passed, so, hey, we're going to see. So, anyways, yeah, Supreme bag we just sold. And peep the other day real quick. Got the Why So Sad dunks on with the, um, the second the lace swap they come with extra blue laces which i put them on they usually they're stock white laces kind of like a car so they're stock you know like that and i got the supreme hoodie on which yeah y'all can see it and then i got these ice cream pants with this little fox on the you know some light you know joggers you know some light it's getting pretty cold here in florida but yeah hey, stay tuned i just wanted to you know film this little clip and yeah peace